I'm Rachel Coley and I'm the pediatric occupational therapist, mama of three, and total child development nerd behind kindokiddo.com. And I'm coming to you today from 10 days postpartum land, see the bags under my eyes, uh, with an essential newborn care tip for you that most parents don't hear until it's too late. Now, as a baby development expert, I have advanced training in head shape and neck tightness issues of infancy. And so when I say that many parents haven't heard this ridiculously simple newborn care tip until it's too late, what I mean is that they are now seeking professional help for a baby who's got head shape or neck tightness issues. So here's the super simple, totally doable, even in this crazy postpartum period, tip for you. Turn your newborn baby's head often in the first two months of life. So what do I mean by turning your baby's head? Well, let's take a look. I mean, turning when you put baby down to sleep. Turning when he's in tummy time. Turning your baby's head while he's awake on his back. Turning your baby's head while you're wearing him in a carrier. Turning him while you're holding him. Here's a little known nerdy fact about your newborn. Most infants in the first two months of life don't have the neck strength and motor control to keep their head centered in what we call the midline of the body. So what does this mean? It means your precious little bobblehead will fall to one side or the other when they're laying on their backs, when they're in tummy time, when they're upright, worn, or held. And this is totally normal. In fact, Two of the earliest motor milestones that your baby will be working towards are learning to turn the head from one side to the other independently in all different positions and learning to keep that head centered above the body in what we call midline. They're working on these milestones so hard in these first few weeks, but gravity certainly isn't helping. It's also very common for newborns to have a preferred head position a direction they more often turn their heads when sleeping or lounging on the back, when they're doing tummy time, being held or worn. Now this is usually a reflection of how they were positioned in the womb. And again, it's very, very common and doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem. The problem only comes if you don't notice and correct preferred head positions because over time they can lead to head flattening, which is sometimes treated with a helmet, or neck tightness called torticollis. So one of our jobs as new parents in these very early weeks of having a newborn, as if you didn't have enough to do, right, is to help our little ones work their way out of these preferred positions. And the way that they do that is through stretching and strengthening. Now, don't panic. The great news is this stretching and strengthening that your newborn needs to do, it can happen during routine daily care and activity. All you have to do is lovingly and gently help your little one turn his sweet smelling newborn head to each side often. Making head turning a habit will help keep your baby's head round and avoid the baby helmet and it will help you notice and correct any of those positional preferences your newborn might have before the secondary head and neck issues might set in. I'm Rachel Coley from CanDoKiddo.com, encouraging you to give this powerful but simple newborn care tip a try today. Happy playing and happy head turning.